Hi everyone, it is the 5th today, so the 5th day of our advent calendar. We have this very cute little decoration here to do. Now this reminds me a little bit of one that my parents used to have when I was growing up. Um, a glass um, tree decoration and it was blue on the outside with a bit of purple in a sort of gap in the middle. So that's how I'm going to colour this one. This is the mauve from the Polychromo set and I'm just going to start by colouring this part. Now theirs was a little bit more complex and I'm going to colour this. Inside the um, this sort of hole in the decoration they actually had a, it, was, it wasn't flat, it was cut in different angles and it was dark in the middle and light around the outside to sort of catch the light. That's a little bit tricky for me to colour, so I'm going to keep it quite simple and I'm just layering up this purple a little bit. But what I want to do is make it darker in the middle. So I'm going to put some more layers in the middle now. I've just noticed I haven't got a piece of paper under my page. I'm going to get some ink transfer if I'm not careful. One moment. No, I don't have any handy. Never mind, I shall have to grab some in a minute and just be careful. So I'm putting more in the centre here. Trying to make that look like it's dipped in a little bit. I'm not sure if it's really working that well, but hey, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want it to get overly complex. Now the outside, as I said, was blue. It was quite a dark blue, not an indigo blue, but a fairly dark blue. So I'm just having a look at my blues and thinking, what shall I use? Um, I think this is quite a pretty blue. This is the um, Prussian blue. Oops, oh, I don't know. I didn't show you the mauve. The light just shines off. I know it's really hard for you to see um, the numbers. I do try. Maybe if I do it, I wonder if I do it at an angle like that. that's any better sorry maybe there I can almost read that okay so with the rounded ornament I'm going to ignore these um, dots um, I'm going to go all the way around the outside with this to start with what I want to do is quite a thick layer of color so I'm going to go over this a few times and go all the way around and then start to fade it as I come towards the middle. So here we've got quite a small gap between here and here, whereas this is bigger. So we're going to fade quicker here than here. What we actually want to try and do is make it look like it's catching the light in the centre. So we'll see if I can achieve that just by fading this colour. I find it fascinating what we can trick the eye into believing just with a coloured pencil piece of paper. Uh, we'll see how we get on. I've been Christmas shopping today, so I'm getting really in the Christmas mood. I bought some nice, pretty gift wrap. I went into a card shop in my town, which um, is a little independent card shop. I shop in very occasionally, and I didn't expect them to have much, but it had some really pretty gift wrap, which um, wasn't foiled. I'm trying to avoid the foil. It's got me thinking, actually, I do like my glitter pens, and then I'm trying to avoid foiled gift wrap because it can't be recycled. I need to have a think about that. But anyway, um, it had quite a small pattern on it, which meant that I think even if you're wrapping small presents, you can still... Um, use it which is always useful okay i'm going to leave that there now you could if you want to mark out these patterns maybe with a silver um, pen or some glitter pens or something like that i'm not going to do i'm not intending on doing any glitter on this page so i probably won't do that but what i do want to do is this bit that's hanging the ornament up and i'm going to do whoops in that and a pen which pencil which wants to escape no, not that one. This is cold grey three. I don't know if you can see that. I find some colours are much better than others at showing you their name. Is that better? No idea. And uh, so what I do with the cold grey is I do lots of layers here, fade towards the centre and do the same from the other side. Leave a little white gap and it helps it to look a little bit more metallic. And we do the same on this 
So we do more at the bottom and leave a gap here. These circular ones are very small. I am just going to put a dash of colour in there. I can't really do a lot with that. You could make it darker. You could start with a darker grey and fade it more. But I'm happy with that. I'm just going to darken that edge just a tad. And I think that's fine. Fine for me. Now, ribbon. We did a red ribbon on our bell. I want this to be different, but I don't want it to be purple or blue because we've done those. I'm thinking maybe a nice pink colour just an idea I'm sort of thinking not always traditional Christmas colors I think it can be a bit of fun so I'm using a lightish pink to start with and I may then go in with some darker shades after this is my just looking um, pale madder lake you can see it there you can't see all of it anyway it's uh, getting small for someone who's not a pink person it's uh, or never used to be a pink person. I find it quite fascinating how um, how much pink I have actually used up from my um, polychromos. I mean, they are, I have had them a long time, but one of my pinks I've already had to replace, which is quite interesting. As I say, for someone who's not a pink person. Right, so I'm just colouring all of it here. I'm not doing any um, difference in weight you know um or extra layers i'm just coloring a gentle layer and now i'm going to grab a darker pink i think these might be the ones we used for the gingerbread house but it doesn't matter this is the um light purple pink no idea if you can see that and i'm going to go in near the bow here the knot and put some put some details in there and then a little bit here say details I just mean colour I don't know what I'm talking about I'm quite cold actually I don't know whether it's stopping my brain from it's a good excuse um I as I said I've been shopping I've just come in and I felt quite warm when I stepped in the door but now I'm getting a little bit chilly so after I finish this video I'm gonna have a drink and put on a put on a warm top I'm not sure what's going on there I'm just gonna colour it in A little bit of colour there and a bit down here. You see this is an alternative to changing the amount of layers, you just add a darker colour instead. There we are. Now I'm just seeing if there are any other little bits we can do because that was quite a quick one. Um, hmm, we have got, let me just move my sharpener out of the way, down here we've got this sort of circular decoration we could do that um, I think my husband would tell me it was a Cumberland sausage but I don't think it is <laughs> let's um let's do it red yeah let's grab some reds so I think I am going to start with quite a pale red this is the um, pale geranium lake I've got no clue if you can see that and I'm going to layer it over with a layer of this And then we're going to use a darker colour to um, mark out some details and I'll show you my idea. You don't have to do it like this, but this is my idea. You can have a think about whether you want to do it this way or not. I hope you're enjoying this um, advent calendar as much as me. I'm having great fun with it. Now, I'm going to leave that bow because it's very thin and I'm just going to colour that bit. Yeah, because it looks like it's just a narrow ribbon, so I'm not going to colour it. So I'm going to go in for a darker red. This is the scarlet red, believe it or not. And what I'm going to do is think about where this might be darker. Firstly, all the way around the edge. I'm going to go all the way around the edge. The darker red, just a layer like that. And here, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to carry on round this sort of layer I'm just going to carry this round all the way around to the end to where the lines end excuse me just had some toast I got in it wasn't quite lunch time I thought I'd just have some toast to make a tea or a coffee actually I made and then I can get on with some fun um, coloring and not worry about having to stop for lunch later so I'm going to do the inside bit oops as well 
So basically both sides of the black line I'm going to colour in this darker red and the idea is that it gives it, I'm going to go back to the lighter red now and just blend that in a little bit, bring in the red it's just got a little white shine line around. Some areas will need a bit more colour than others depending on how thick um, the space is and how much you've gone over. There we go. And I think that just makes it a li look a little bit more three dimensional. I'm just going to take this scarlet red again and just go around there. There we go. That's me done. Um, it hasn't um, taken that long. There they are, that one and that one. But um, I am not going to do any more today. We may find um, there's time to do a few other extra bits on another video. We will definitely get the whole page done by the 24th. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.